Let's go over how to determine compensation whenever you're solving arterial blood gas problems. So this is a source of confusion for some people whenever they're trying to solve ABG problems. They don't usually have problems trying to determine if it's a respiratory or metabolic problem or acidosis or alkalosis, but whenever they get to this part, it's like, I don't know, how do I do this? So I'm gonna give you a simple way on how to figure this out. So here's our problem. We got a pH of 7.34, a PaCO2 of 36, this represents respiratory, and a bicarb of 20, which represents metabolic system. I'm gonna use tic-tac-toe to help us to do this. What I'm looking for is a vertical three in a row. If I don't have an up and down three in a row, I know I'm dealing with full compensation. So that's one of the great things about this method. Our pH is acidic, so we're going to put it under here, under acid. Our PaCO2 is normal, so I'm going to put it here under normal. Let's see where this bicarb is gonna fall. It is 20, that is on the acid side. So I'm gonna put it under here under acid. And I have a three in a row right here. So I know I have metabolic acidosis. Now I gotta determine what kind of compensation do I have? Do I have uncompensation, partial compensation, or full compensation? Well, I can go ahead and rule out full compensation because of two things. One, I do have a vertical three in a row. So I know I don't have full compensation and my pH is abnormal. So the body hasn't compensated and done its thing. However, I'm left with these two. So in order to figure out if I have uncompensated or partial compensated, I have to look at the system that is not causing my imbalance. The system that's causing my imbalance is the metabolic system. So I'm gonna look at this respiratory value a little bit deeper. It's 36, a normal is about 35 to 45, so it falls within range. That tells me this respiratory system isn't doing a thing about, the, about this acid-base imbalance I have going on. So it's uncompensating. So that's what this would be, metabolic acidosis uncompensated. Now let's change up things a little bit. I have the same exact problem, but I have changed the PaCO2 to 29. So now this PaCO2 is not normal. It is on the basic side. So we're just gonna put it over here. So now what do I have? I still have metabolic acidosis because I have this vertical three in a row here. So I know I don't have full compensation. However, I'm trying to go between these two, uncompensated or partial compensated. So let's take a further look at that system that's not causing our imbalance, which is the respiratory system. And I notice that now it doesn't fall in normal range. It's less than 35, because 35 to 45 was normal, it's 29. So because of that, this system has thrown itself into an alkalotic, hence basic value in order to try to fix this blood pH. So it's partially trying to compensate. It hasn't done it fully yet, because our pH is still abnormal. Now let's take that same exact problem and just change up that pH. Now it's 7.37. So we know that a normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45, so our pH just became normal. And I have bells going off in my head telling me, oh, full compensation, our pH is normal. Plus if you're using the tic-tac-toe method, you don't have a vertical three in a row, so that's another thing. So we know we have full compensation. Now whenever we have full compensation, a lot of times where people get confused is how to determine is this a respiratory or metabolic problem or is this acidosis or alkalosis. So when this happens, what you have to do is you have to take a further look at that blood pH. So let's go over this for a second. An absolute normal blood pH is about 7.40. So remember 7.35 to 7.45 is our normal range. So anything that's 7.35 but less than 7.40 is considered acid, a normal acid, okay? Now, anything that is greater than 7.40 but to 7.45 is considered a normal alkalotic. So based on our blood pH of 7.37, it's normal but it's on the acidic side. So we go and look at the system that's also acidic, and it's the metabolic system. So we know that that's where we've been hanging out because our blood pH has trended up from that acid part. So we know we have metabolic acidosis, 
and it's fully compensated. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into this topic, you can check out my comprehensive acid-base balance video on my YouTube channel, Registered Nurse RN.